Hey, welcome back to the Let's Play. My pick is broken. And this is the last time I can repair it. I'm a little upset, but that's just the process I put myself through. <laughs> all right, Magnum, you have a little bit left in you. It's mainly from clearing all this out and going to gather Blackstone. Um, yeah, but welcome back. We are back down here in the ancient crypts. We are still working on them because I am so excited to work on this. You have no idea. I'm going to do something there. Don't worry about that. But we finished our first tomb, which is this room. And oh, oh God, I love it. It's so good. See, I want all of the tunnels, which there are going to be tons of them underground. I just want them all to eventually lead to places like this. Even bigger ones, smaller ones, maybe. Ones that have been ruined with crumbled in ceilings. I love this one so much, and we are going to be expanding that way today, but I'm all out of blackstone, so let's go gather some. Is that a sign that I should fight the wither soon? It's been a while, and I need more beacons. So yeah, decided to come down here because, well, this is much easier to gather blackstone. I mean, look at this. There's so many spots. I remember the beds had trouble blowing this up because it's a little bit harder than nether rack. Wow, it's just like an endless pit down here. All right, all right. It is many hours later of planning and somewhat getting a dugout. Um, so I decided I'm going to make another normal tunnel here but now it's going to break into a giant room, which I'm still digging out. My pick's already almost broke again. We're gonna to have to retire this this episode. Dang. As you can see, this is going to be a big room, and I think I came up with a design I like. It's going to be very dark as well. I'm telling you, I just love this blackstone. I love the eerie look. There will be a lot of soul lanterns in here, and maybe normal lanterns, or torches, to light it up, but this one does have a high ceiling. Um, that's why there's this layer right here. This layer is here, by the way. You leave one layer so you can dig out the top up there. And once you do that, you come down and get rid of this layer. I think this is gonna look pretty cool. I'm afraid it might be too dark so you won't see all the good detail I'm trying to put into it. <laughs> I have a lot more digging to do though, so I'll be back. Rest in peace to the Magnum. It was a fairly new pick. I don't know why I'm acting like it was here forever, like the Minesweeper. Okay. Are you kidding me? I only have one spot left. Well, there you go, Magnum. <laughs> I already have to expand this. Gosh dang it. Okay, what kind of tools do we have? Please tell me I just have one I could repair. That would be so nice. Bulldozer. Please be an easy fix. Please. Oh my god, it's like a brand new pick. Heck yeah. Plus I still have Work Pick 3 and Earthbreaker in here. Wow, I still have quite a few, and those could probably be repaired. You know, I've been thinking, instead of destroying picks like this just for literally clearing out land and underground, such as for my ancient ruins I'm making right now, I think this is the point in time where I should bring out my mending pick that I have stowed away, because I hate building a new pick and then just spending it all on clearing out land. You know what? I might do that. Am I thinking way too into this? Should I just have mending everything to make my life easier? Absolutely not. We keep things old school here. Uh, oh, I was about to have the best sneeze ever. Nose burning really bad. It was coming and then nothing came. That is the worst. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm going up here. If you guys have never seen this, this is my little box up here stowed away in the very top of the attic. This is all the mending stuff in my world right here. Wait. Did I ever put ebony? Oh yeah, there's ebony bow right there. Where are you at? Right there, machine. Because it's efficiency five as well, this will just help with the clearing out process. You know what, I'm gonna use it for only clearing out stuff. I like that idea. Because again, I don't wanna just waste picks like this and start loading up my museum. Because that's how the museum is almost full right now. Is because I've done a lot of projects where I had to clear out a bunch of stuff and I just had to keep throwing picks in there. <laughs> Anyway, work is still going on down here. Um, what should I put on these armor stands? Oh, you know what? Instead of putting iron or gold or diamond, which will, well, diamond wouldn't look too bad now that I think of it. I have a lot of diamonds. I might do that for down here. But also, we can dye leather armor. We could dye it like a shade of blue like that or black. Anyway, I got this hallway finished. It comes down here. Um, as you can see, we got a lot more done. 
we're almost, well, I'm still trying to decide how long I want this to be. But I love this little entrance right here. I like how it's hidden away. We might expand this wall that way. And these walls, by the way, I think these are going to be a lighter shade of color so these pillars can stand out because you can't really see them that well. As of right now, we have one, two, three, four, five. I think I'm going to do two more down that way, maybe one that way. In my test world here, I'm beginning to design one of the door, well, actually the main door at the end of the hallway. This is tough. <laughs> so yeah, this is what my first door I came up with. I don't know if this works because I have very angular structures in here, as you can see, and then going for an oval door just it looks very out of place. So yeah, I don't think I'll go with this. Let me try another door design. Okay, need to improvise here because I always take my flint and steel out of here. Unless I missed it. You see flint and steel? No. Or you can tap it with this. Of course not. About that because you can right click candles with a fire aspect sword and light it, which is pretty crazy. There we go. So, look at this. <laughs> oh, bats flying around too. Uh, this is pristine as well. We <laughs> uh, still got to run through and add in all the cracked variants and stuff. Even these cave systems, I'm leaving these open uh, because I'll add stairs around this to make it look like it, it's a little cave-in right there. So yeah, um, right here I think I'm going to do a combination lock and that will knock a door over here that will probably lead to that armor idea I was having. This is the door I came up with. I like it. What, what am I doing? Oh, I think I want to get rid of these. I don't know how good this will look. I'm going to have to replace these with stairs possibly. I think blue fire will look great in here. I'm going to have to get rid of all these torches and find a way to light this up. Oh, that don't look too bad. I like it. I will say, making tombs in Minecraft is not easy. Specifically the grave part. So, wh where did I make this? Oh, this is in the first part of our tomb. I might change them up, but it's alright. Uh, this is that other one I made. Um, here's some other ones. Like, okay, that's just an embarrassment. It shouldn't even be that small. Oh yeah, and I also try to, okay, this one's just, that can just go away. <laughs> Here's a small one, and I forgot there's also blackstone pressure plates and buttons, which makes this block even way more versatile, and I love that. You could ignore that. I'm making some sort of anomaly. It might be somewhere in the ruins. I don't know yet. Here's another one, kind of inverted. Doesn't really look good. Here's a vertical one, kind of Skyrim inspired, you know, when you walk in a dungeon and the door falls off like that and the droggers come out. Now these are the ones I'm actually really liking. So we got this one with some chiseled black stone and buttons over it to cover the snout because I'm not crazy about the snout. Then we got this one. I think these are the ones I'm gonna go for because they're so simple, you know, if it's all covered up, but this one's halfway open so you can kind of see inside. This one I tried anvils, looks all right. But yeah, I think I'll go with something like this. All right, put in some detail on the wall here. These are behind the tombs. I'm actually using the, I actually really like these blocks, but I use a button to cover up the little pig snouts <laughs> because I don't know. I guess the pig snout isn't that bad. Look, at first I didn't even know that was a pig snout when we first got this block, but it just cuts down on the too much texture going on. Now this, for example, I like doing this. Now I'm gonna put a wall right here. I get rid of the block behind it so it becomes flat like this. So it almost looks like these are vertical slabs and it creates depth of field like that. Yeah. So I have a bunch of these tombs built right here. Um, right here, I'm not gonna have any because this is going to be a combination lock that unlocks a door right there. Uh, we got a few broken open and right down here, I'm doing two vertical ones and one is broken right here. I don't know, just to give this place a story. Maybe some of the droggers, I guess that's what we're gonna call them, got out or whatever they are. Here we have a big sealed door by making it look like it's been broken through. Maybe I did that as I'm exploring this place. We're almost done with this. I have spent so much time on this room. It's all pristine. Besides that hole right there. <laughs> I think I like these lanterns being on the side right here. Of course, when I run through here and start tearing things up, I will remove a few. I'm gonna to have to find a way to add, no, ceiling doesn't need lighting. I feel like this is good enough. I might find, put some candles in some areas. 
Uh, but ultimately, I like the way it turned out. I'm pushing back, as you can see, this wall. It's basically the same as down there. This isn't going to have a door. I might put a hole right here for this cave. But I'll put some sort of design on this wall. I think I want to come up with a logo for these ancient people. And I'm starting to think, should I tie these ancient people with the people that are at my ancient library? Even though that's more of like a, a red and brown color. This is all black. All right. Oh. <laughs> I honestly can't believe how long this place took to build. And this is just a little part of it, probably, most likely considering my other plans I have for this. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna think of some sort of design to put there. Should I make it look so bland? I made this look like a crumbled hole. I'll get rid of those chests in the future, most likely. Put a staircase there, made it look a little bit better. As you know, we got another hole here. This is all pristine right now, so in between episodes, I'm gonna have to run through and replace blocks with cracked variants and just make it look very run down. Um, I've been putting skulls in a couple of the tombs um, I'm gonna have to build that piston. I think this is where I want it to be. I don't think I'm ever gonna tell you guys this code. You're gonna have to figure it out when you get on here. But you're gonna switch these in a way where it will open up a door here. And then when you walk in, it's gonna be a big room I'm gonna have to clear out. But then the island floating over there, you're gonna have to parkour to it. And if you miss a step, you might most likely die. So <laughs> I think that'll be pretty cool to get the most powerful gear in my world. What do you guys think? not liking this symmetry. I'm gonna have to mess with that. So later on, we're going to expand this way. Right here, we are actually under this. This mound, right next to our bee farm. Yeah, look how far I've traveled from where we started off. And I absolutely love the fact that we are heading towards the house because we are going to connect this somehow, some way. And I can't think of any other better way is than down here in the sewer. The direction we're coming from, it kind of makes it perfect where I'll get rid of this pipe here in some frames. But yeah, we'll get rid of this pipe here and this wall, I'll just turn it into a very crumbling ancient ruined door that will lead to the rest of it. I think that'll be pretty cool and a good way to link it all to the rest of my world. What are you doing? Even though as much as I don't want to get rid of this wall because this is kind of shows where the old map wall is, I'm going to do that. I can't believe it. I died. I died and lost everything. Absolute minesweeper. Oh, look, a portal. Just kidding. We're on Java. I wanted to check. Ooh, what's that? That's birch. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Why does it look different? Oh, oh, they reorganized. Wow, this is way nicer. Why doesn't Bedrock have this? I'm on the latest snapshot. Where's the new stuff? Well, I thought I was going to check out new features. I'm on Java Snapshot 22W46A, and there's literally nothing new in these inventory bars. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I downloaded the snapshot. I think it's more complicated than it needs to be. <laughs> Ooh, pandas. Well, that was fun and exciting. Oh, so it's not as easy as just downloading a snapshot and playing anymore. They have a hidden thing right here called data packs. Bundle, I guess that's it. Okay, proceed. Wow, they don't really do a good job of explaining how it's done, do they? Yes, I know. What do you think I'm doing? I'm on the snapshot. I'm just very irritated right now. I spent the past hour trying to figure this out. <laughs> then I finally went to Twitter for help. Okay, now when I open my inventory, I'm hoping I'll see what I'm looking for. Oh my, where is the feature? <laughs> okay, maybe I had to add both of them packs. Let's see now. <gasps> Jesus Christ, was it that hard? All right, why are there two? Whoa. Oh, finally. Okay, let's see what we got here. I know the first thing I'm going for. <laughs> give me, give me the head. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. These might have a lot of uses. You don't even know yet. There it is. Chiseled, oh, it's called chiseled? That's odd. What are, the oh yeah, okaying signs. Whoa, that bow looks different. Camel spawn egg. <laughs> block of bamboo, block of strip. Okay, so you can strip it. I'll just give you a lighter variant. I guess these are okay. Yeah, they're all right. I don't see a whole lot of uses with these, to be honest. The door's kind of cool. How's the trap door? It's all right. It's nothing like super exciting though, you know? Like this color will not have a lot of uses. You know why? Because birch does not have a lot of uses. And this is very close to birch. 
The star of the show. How does this work? Oh, wait. Pickle. I like that. Can you hit it with your head? No. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I gotta like that. And let's see this goofy fella. Whoa, you are tall. Wow. Whoa, those are some big creatures. <laughs> I'm assuming, is it gonna need a saddle? Oh, you're getting down for me. Oh no, you're just laying down. Whoa, that's interesting. Oh, whoa. Yo. Whoa, look at that saddle. That's nuts. Stop that. Stop. Get up, you lazy bum. <laughs> oh, he's got floppy ears too. Yo, these are very advanced creatures from the looks of things. Okay, so I'm assuming I put a chest on them too. Oh no, no chest. God dang, I hate that. No chest, you just ride. No, 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 get up, get up. <laughs> I gotta like these guys. Interesting, I, okay, that's, now how do you access it? Oh, you just, uh, I don't know if I like that. I was hoping it would, yeah, wait, no, 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 I don't like that at all. I'm not trying to be complaining here. I want to be able to open it up like a chest and see the contents inside. Because if I store all my enchant... Well, yeah, if you'd store all your books and whatnot, you're just going to have to go through each like this to finally find the one you're looking for. Yeah, hopefully they add an inventory slot for this. Ah! Today's comic question of the day comes from Lucas. Lynn, have you ever finished the hind legs of the skeleton dragon in the museum yet? That is a good question. Did I? Ow. Oh. Kind of? <laughs> I had to answer that one because I actually didn't know. Yeah, I guess I did. Do those look decent? I kind of tried to make them look natural. I don't, I'm not crazy about the front ones. Remember, I didn't have any front ones because most flying creatures arms are actually their wings so i just kind of imagined that but i forgot he actually does have front legs so i made that with some big claws yeah i think he is actually 100 percent complete now there's still a few things i might want to tweak on him but i feel like the more i add the more thicker he's gonna be <laughs> i mean the the head for example i mean compare it to this dragon head over here maybe this is the baby head i cut off the baby's head there you go Never thought I'd say that sentence. Thanks, everyone, for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I gotta expand this right here. This'll be fun. Bye-bye.